at its annual shareholders meeting. Contract chipmaker TSMC said it expects 30 percent revenue growth in this fiscal year, despite a host of global uncertainties. TSMC chairman Mark Liu projected that sales growth would top last year's 24.9 percent, driven by demand from 5G and automotive electronics. He said the firm was pushing forward with its Taiwan expansion and had also begun construction of factories in Japan and the U.S. TSMC Chairman Mark Liu strides briskly into the shareholders' meeting. Amid the pandemic, Russia-Ukraine war, Chinese lockdowns and softening demand for consumer electronics, investor anxieties were high on Wednesday. Last year, revenue grew by 24.9 percent. This year, we expect to reach 30 percent growth. With the acceleration of digitalization in daily life and our continued leadership in semiconductor technology, TSMC is entering a period of highly structured growth. The executive moved to reassure TSMC shareholders. He expressed continued optimism on chip demand from the 5G and automotive electronics sectors. He said that besides continuing its Taiwan expansion, TSMC was pushing forward with factories in the U.S. and Japan. Capital spending is estimated at between 40 billion and 44 billion U.S. dollars for the year, he said. Also on Wednesday, the U.S. address reports that TSMC planned to build factories in Singapore, Germany, and Italy. Focusing on the needs of our clients as the primary consideration, we've recently begun construction in the U.S. and Japan. Over in Europe, our client base is relatively small, but we are still conducting assessments. At present, there are no concrete plans for projects there. Last month, U.S. President Joe Biden visited Japan and South Korea with an eye on bolstering cooperation. On Wednesday, shareholders asked if a potential chip alliance could harm TSMC's competitive position. In addition, executives were asked to comment on a Chinese economist's recent remarks. Economist Chen Wenling had called on Chinese authorities to seize TSMC if the U.S. were to sanction Beijing. There's no need to worry. Working hard to expand our operations here in Taiwan, I believe that's the way to make the world sit up and take notice of us. For the fiscal year 2021, TSMC posted revenue of 1.59 trillion NT, an increase of 18.5 percent year on year. Earnings per share stood at 23.01 NT. For the second quarter of this year, the chipmaker will issue a cash dividend of 2.75 NT per share. To satisfy shareholders, it has pledged to maintain that dividend going forward, paying no less in every quarter than what it had paid in the previous quarter.